Hi brothers and sisters, so I am embarking on a series of videos on spiritual warfare and today I just want to talk about some of the things that the Lord God showed me about how monitoring spirits work and how we can fight against them and prevent them from being able to access our lives. So before we go into this video, uh, let's just pray right now and commit everything in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we cover this video with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare, O oh Lord, that your protection is upon this video, that only your will is going to be done, that I'm going to share what you want me to share only, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray, Father, that this information, O oh Lord, it's going to be helpful to your children. It's going to be helpful to your church, even as we embark on spiritual warfare against the enemy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, we cover each and every person who is watching this video, Father. We cover them in the blood of Jesus Christ. We decree your protection upon them, and we come against every monitoring spirit that has been fashioned against us and against all of your children in the mighty name of jesus we destroy them by the fire of the holy spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray amen so i want to do i'm, I'm going to be so i'm going to be doing uh several videos on spiritual warfare and this is extremely important, especially uh, towards the end of the year, like uh, we're almost in October now. So the, the, the final months of the year, like September, October, November, December, uh, these are very, very important months for us to rise up as Christians and engage in a lot of spiritual warfare because this is the time when the powers of darkness when they are at their peak of their operation this is the time when they do their their most important sacrifices of the year you know this is the time when they do sa human sacrifices like towards the end of the year this is the time when they're killing a lot of people and this is the time when they're doing all manner of evil and to glorify satan you know and that is why you even have like in some countries they have like Halloween and all those witchcraft festivals. So as Christians, we need to rise up and embark on spiritual warfare against Satan. And the videos I'm going to be doing uh, are just meant to help those of you who may not have all the necessary information that you need in order for you to engage in spiritual warfare. And I'm also going to make videos on just to talk about just exactly how you how you just exactly how you do spiritual warfare today is extremely windy here and i just hope that the video will be okay hopefully hopefully the mic does a good job and i hope everything will be okay so what are monitoring spirits monitoring spirits are demons whose main assignment is to be able to collect is to collect information from people's lives and the way that they collect this information is they listen in to conversations in order to get all the important information that can be used against that person when they are attacking them you know it's more like a spy like if you if you're in a war and then your enemy send the spy into your camp that's how monitoring spirits work so they come and watch people's lives they want to find out as much information as someone you know they do this through a lot of ways that i'm going to share but they want to watch people's lives they want to be able to know exactly what you're going through how you're reacting to it what is going on every single bit of information about you monitoring spirits are very interested in getting that information and this is very real this is very real and the reason why they do this is they want to know how to attack you because they want to to make sure that even when they launch an attack they want to make sure that it's as effective as possible so um, the Lord I remember one of the first times that the Lord showed me about 
how demons monitor our lives, you know, it was in September 2012, September 2012, when we had prayers at home, the time when the Lord had promised to show my sister and I some revelations like about heaven and about hell, which are contained in my first testimony of hell. So the Lord had asked us to pray and we were praying. We prayed that day from morning until the next day. I remember we were still praying and God gave us the revelations in the night. Like I'm sure all the information is in my first video, but during that time when we were still praying and seeking the Lord, as we were praying, the Lord God opened my eyes and I saw a demonic spirit that looked like a snail. It looked like a snail and it was at a place that looked like a beach. It was just there by the shore and it was a snail. But what God showed me was it wasn't an ordinary snail. Like it was actually watching me and my family and the people whom we were praying with because we were praying with my, with my parents and some of my siblings and a few people from church and the demonic spirit that looked like a snail it was actually zooming in on us and it was watching us it was watching us as we prayed it wanted to get information about us to know how our prayers are going on because satan wanted to know how he can effectively attack us in order to make us stop praying so that god would not show us the things that he had wanted to show us because god had taught us that he wanted to show us about heaven and hell because he wanted us to come and share and warn people but god had taught us that we need to wait on him on this very day in september 2012 the lord had taught us that you need to wait and pray and we prayed we had prayed from morning and we were just seeking the Lord with all our hearts, but we had to pray the whole day up to midnight. That's when the Lord showed us all those revelations. And then we had to continue praying even up to the next day. But during that period of waiting, Satan had sent a monitoring spirit. And when I, sh when I saw this vision, I did not share it with anyone, but my sister Zipporah, the Lord opened her spiritual eyes and she saw the same monitoring spirit. And she said, you know, I didn't say it, but my sister said it. And I had or already seen this demon. And she said, I can see a demon. There is a demon that has been sent to come and monitor us. And it looks like a snail on the beach and it's watching us. So God was confirming the vision that he had shown me that this is real. This demon is actually watching you. And then another time, you know, the Lord had taught us to be recording the things that he was showing us. He wanted us to be writing them down so that we can be able to later share with other people. And I remember during uh, that same period when we had finished praying and I was writing down in a book the things that the Lord had shown us during our prayer. And as I was writing down the visions from the Lord, the Lord opened my spiritual eyes and I saw a demonic spirit. I can't really describe it, but I think it looked, I can only um, like, you know, it had like wings. It was able to fly, you know, more like a bat, but it was really, really huge, maybe more like a dragon, you know, but it had wings. And then I remember it also had like a, a hair on the face, like it, it was like, it had a face, you know, like eyes and everything, but uh, it had like a long mouth here, like the mouth was just coming out like that. It was really long. And then it was flying right above my head. And then the Lord showed me, you know, when it was starting to lower down because it wanted to read what I was writing in the book because God had taught us to be writing down the things that he was showing us so that we can be able to share with other people. And because I was writing down the visions of the Lord, Satan had sent this demonic monitoring spirit to come and check what exactly I was writing so that he may, he, it may not take him by surprise, so that he may be able to know like the things that God had shown me. And another, another one thing that the Lord had taught us about 
the way that monitoring spirits are able to access people's lives, apart from just coming directly in the spiritual realm, the Lord had shown me and my sister Zipporah that Satan access, uh, that the monitoring spirits have access to people through demonic images, images of idols, images of, you know, satanic symbols, you know, like those, you know, those Illuminati symbols, all those signs and symbols that they make, like they make, they make those symbols or they draw them. They don't just do them for fun. You know, they put them in the movies, they put them in music, but God actually showed us that they, they create an open portal where like if you have those things in your house, like you have books or you have whatever things and they have those demonic images on them, like images of all kinds of idols or images of demonic drawings, you know, like dem satanic symbols and signs. In the spiritual realm, those things are a, an open portal where demons are actually able to come and go as they please. And even when you're watching like all those movies or music with all those symbols, Satan and his demons are able to watch you and they're able to watch your life. They're able to listen in to everything that is going on in your life. And the monitoring spirits are able to access you through demonic symbols and through pictures of idols and pictures of satanic symbols and satanic drawings. That is what the Lord showed us. That is why, like, even if uh, your clothes, even if they are decent, but if you know and you realize that they have demonic symbols, don't, wa don't wear them. You know, I'm sure demonic symbols are very common, like people know, you know, like the, the one eye, uh, the pyramid and all those symbols, you know, the Baphomet signs, all those things, they're not just put for fun. But Satan has access to people, like they are an open portal in the spiritual realm and demons are able to come and go just because you have those articles in your house or just because you're wearing all those things, God showed us that they are able to access and to watch people through that. So you can get rid of all those demonic symbols from your house. You know, if your clothes are decent, uh, uh, they are not going against what God wants, but they have those demonic symbols, get rid of them. Like even, you, even if you pray for them, you know, you cannot wear them, don't wear them because they'll be creating an open portal to demons. And then another way that the monitoring spirits are able to have access to people's lives is through demonic books, like satanic books. If you have satanic books, all those books with all those demonic symbols in your house, if you have uh, books, uh, like unholy books, satanic books about idols, you know, maybe it, it's a book uh, pertaining to a false religion, any false religion, you know, all those are dem uh, actually open doors to Satan. You know, all those idols that people worship, they are not just an imagination. It's not like they're just worshiping nothing, but in actuality, they are worshiping demons. And when you embrace those books, like if you have maybe like Muslim books, if you have Hindu books or whatever kind of books, uh, witchcraft books, or witchcraft movies or witchcraft literature or whatever, the demons will be using those things to come and watch you and they'll be listening into your conversations. They will have access to you and it will be like an open portal. You know, like it's more like you just create an open door that demons are able to come and go as they please. So you need to get rid of all those things that are unholy. And when the Lord was uh, revealing these things to us, we had a lot of uh, books by Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, this is not meant to, to attack somebody who is still uh, in the Jehovah's Witness cult or all these cults, you know, but this is meant to draw you to salvation so that you may go and seek the Lord God on your own, that the Lord is going to reveal the truth to you that you are in a wrong religion, you know, and 
you know how the Jehovah's Witnesses go around, like they give out their magazines, uh, uh, the Watchtower magazine awake, and all their books like are so accessible. And we had a lot of their books because over the years, like they would always give us books, give us books. And in the end, we had like piles and piles of awake magazines, Watchtower, uh, all those Jehovah's Witness books, like we would just read them for entertainment. You know, at the back of our minds, we knew or like, oh, these guys are like, they are wrong, you know, because it's clear. But th when the Lord revealed to us about, about the way the satanic kingdom operates, the Lord even warned us to get rid of the Jehovah's Witness books and to get rid of the Awake magazines, the Watchtower magazines, and all those things, you know. I remember when the Lord was showing us about this, like, I actually, <clears throat> we were, like, removing the magazines to get them sorted. And then there was a picture in the magazine. They, they, I think it was an Awake magazine. I can't remember if it was an Awake or a Watchtower magazine, but it was one of those. And then I, I there was a picture. And... There was a picture like of some people, I think they are like, they are, they are, you know, like those people like from their church whom they put, but there was this picture that they had put. And when I looked at the picture, the Lord Jesus opened my spiritual eyes and I was able to see that it was more like this picture was actually alive. Like they were able to watch me and they were able to see me and it was actually like they had deliberately put a picture of a Nephilim and it was all meant so that as I'm as I'm watch as I'm opening this magazine you know like I'm reading through this magazine they are able to watch me like they they are able to have access to me and they are able to have access to my life and the Lord told us to get rid of all the Watchtower magazines the Awake magazines he told us to stop reading all those books about all these uh, the Jehovah's Witness books and all the other cults. The Lord told us not to read their books, not to even bring their books into our home because the Lord said that they were opening demonic doors. You know, people who are in all these cults, they are not aware, but the top leadership are aware of what it really is about. They know exactly what it's about. And they know that all they want is to deceive people, but people are just following blindly. But those people who are actually like at the very top leadership, many of them are involved in the kingdom of darkness. And that is why they deliberately put those demonic spirits in their books in order to have access to people's lives. So they do not rely on the Lord. They do not rely on the Holy Spirit. But the people, you know, the church members are just lost. But the top leadership know exactly what it's about. Like the people who are running it and the people who are running many of these cults, like the very people at the very top, they know what it's about. And that is, what the, that is why the Lord said, don't even bring these books into your home. Don't bring them into your home because you open a portal for Satan to have access to you. So get rid of cult books, get rid of witchcraft books. If you have any books, like some people say, oh, I just want to read this because I'm curious. You know, don't be too curious. It's better you're curious about the things of the Lord than for you to get so curious, like about the things of darkness, like you, you start collecting their books, bringing them into your home. No, you are opening doors and the demonic monitoring spirits are able to have access to you in that way. We need to rely on the Lord. Like, don't get your your knowledge from Satan, get your knowledge from Jesus. He's the one who is, who is able to show us. You know, I remember like uh, there was a time when I used to like uh, watching, you know, all these uh, ex, -sat ex Satanist videos on YouTube. You know, not, not all of them are bad, but the Lord, uh, the Lord actually told me that you need to get your knowledge from the Holy Spirit, you know, because uh, all these Satanists and people who say like they're ex-Satanists, not every one of them is genuine. 
some are actually still in witchcraft and satan sends them on a mission to to say go and pretend that you're no longer a satanist and go and talk about this and this and this and then their main aim and their main mission is to come and deceive you with fake knowledge you know the knowledge that they have is not it's not the knowledge from the holy spirit it's not the knowledge from the holy spirit they rely on what satan taught them and we know that satan is the father of lies and the bible says that every word that comes he's the father of lies so every word that comes out of his mouth is a lie so you cannot rely and and just get over curious and say oh let me watch what this witch said let me watch what this witch said you are opening doors to satan in your life instead get on your knees ask the holy spirit and the holy spirit is going to to reveal things to you he's going to show you what you need to do because when you over rely on what people who say are ex satan is said you know we can get there there are some things that we're able to learn and get you know but you need that's why you need to discern and to be led by the holy spirit like it's not everything it's not everything like some of the things you are going to be misled because our true knowledge should come from the holy spirit it shouldn't come from what satan told somebody that's why we need to discern there are some people who are actually satanists and they have truly repented and now they are filled with the holy spirit those are the people yeah you can learn from because now they are filled with the holy spirit but you need to be uh, very careful like when you want to go and start watching videos about satanists and all those things there are some people who are actually pretending to have been like uh, they are out of satanism but they are not like they are actually just on a mission because you need to rely on the holy spirit let the holy spirit tell you whom you can listen to and whom you cannot that is why i always say that you need to seek god on your own don't just depend on what this person told me this that person told me this so don't get too curious about the kingdom of darkness that you go and start collecting their books and bringing them into your home no you open demonic doors to satan and the monitoring spirits are able to have access to your life and another way that the lord showed me and my sister like how they have access to your life how monitoring spirits have access to your life is through demonic pictures is through pictures you know like people like to put like pictures of all these celebrities like they want to put the the pictures in their home you know like maybe they like this musician they like this person they don't know that person is actually a witch and when they when they take all those photos they they put demonic spells and they enchant on all those pictures many of these celebrities they are in the kingdom of darkness and so they enchant on all those things and then they release those pictures and people are getting their pictures you know they want to put them on their screen saver they want to put them in their home but all those things demons use them to watch you demons use them to have access to you i remember when the lord was was showing us uh, like uh, all these things that was in 2012 when we had the encounter with the lord and i remember there was a there was a small bottle which had talcum powder in it we had that bottle in the house and then on the bottle there was like a picture you know you know how they put like a model like like somebody to model for their product you know and so they had this model like a lady and she was put on that picture and you know she she wasn't even dressed in this and anything i think it was just like a, a picture from from the west going up just a picture there and then they had put it on the talcum on the border of the talcum powder and then when we were praying you know when the lord was showing us all these things then the lord jesus gave us an example he gave us an example and said look like this picture here of this woman on on this bottle this is a demonic spirit this is a demonic spirit by the name of sabiola 
And that is what the Lord said, like this demon, it's called Sabiola, the lady of the beach. And the Lord actually rebuked it. But all this time we thought like, oh, it's just a picture on a bottle. You know, we had no idea because we were not spiritually sensitive. But the Lord showed us that Satan was actually watching us through this, like through that demon that he had, he had put on that bottle, like Satan was actually able to watch us. He was actually able to watch us because we had no idea, but this was actually a demon, you know, that just looked like a woman. Sabiola, the lady of the beach, that is what the Lord said. But the Lord rebuked that demon and, you know, and the Lord also showed us, like, sometimes, like, they get, like, agents of Satan, like witches, wizards, demons, you know, like the Nephilim, and then they make them to model for different kinds of pictures then maybe they'll put them like on a billboard you know and people will think like oh it's just a picture of these ladies it's just a picture of these people maybe men and women or whatever like they just put them there on the billboard and yet what they do not know what is happening in the spiritual realm is that they have actually put demons to accompany that picture and they are able to watch that whole area like they are actually um, monitoring spirits in charge of a territory. Like they are watching whatever is happening in that area. And when people look at them, you know, like they actually cast spells on all those people, especially people who are spiritually weak. Brothers and sisters, the spiritual realm is much, much more sophisticated than this earthly life. I can assure you that they are much more sophisticated much smarter than people here in the physical world. Unless, of course, you have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit makes you smarter than them. Because they make you to, to think like all these things, like when you hear about all these things, they make you think like, oh, this is fake, this is too much. But they know what they want to achieve. They just want to have access to people. And that is why the Lord wants us to be prayerful so that even when you go out, like even if they have all these things set up, they will not have access to you because you are covered by the blood of Jesus because you are protected and those monitoring spirits are going to be blinded. They are not going to have access to your life and to start watching you. But that is what the Lord showed me. Like they will put like a billboard and yet in, in the spirit, it's actually like demons that have been put there to be in charge of this whole territory in order to watch everything that is happening and to watch things and listening to conversations that people are having in this area. And one thing like uh, that the Lord showed me, you know, Satan has a lot of demons and he puts them strategically in different places. Like when the Lord was, was showing me about this, this is what used to happen. Like I would go out about my daily business and then when I go back home and pray, then the Lord would start to show me visions like of the places where I was going. And then the Lord would show me like about how Satan had placed all these demons like strategically. And then those demons, this was real brothers and sisters, like this was so real and it is still real. Like the Lord would actually show me, like, look how this demon was placed here, just by the roadside. Like, physically, you won't even know it. Physically, you think like, oh, I'm just in a road. You know, there's nothing spiritual happening here. But the Lord would show me how demons had been placed strategically, like at a corner, at, at the side or wherever. And then they were just there stationed, like so attentive to just watch, monitor and manipulate the things that are happening in that area. Like, I remember there was a time when we, we went to a lake. We went to a lake right here in my country. So when we went there, there was something that we went to go and do, but it was just like near the lake. And then the Lord showed me how Satan had placed demons just by the sides of the lake. And, you know, people like to go there for fun. Like they, they have like a boat cruise, like people go there just to relax like over the weekend, but the Lord showed me the demons that Satan had placed there just by the, by the shores of the lake. 
and then they were stationed there like serious with their duty, like watching people, watching everything that's happening. And what they do is when they watch, they don't just keep the information to themselves. They are very advanced. Like when they get the information, they're able to send it like to all the other agents so that they are all able to know this information about somebody. The Lord showed me, you know, in the physical, you have like telephones, you have like uh, televisions, you have like computers. But even in the spirit, even in the spirit, those things are there. They have like spiritual computers, they have like spiritual televisions, they have like spiritual telephones, cell phones, uh, whatever kind of technology, you know, like that you use to communicate, they have it in the spirit. God showed me. They even have like uh, spiritual radio stations. God showed it to me. He showed it to me very clearly. I remember when he showed me about this. Uh, this was somewhere in 2016 when God showed me about how Satan in the kingdom, like the spiritual realm is very real. Like they had like radio stations in the spiritual realm. And that is where they would announce things about God's children who are becoming a threat to Satan's kingdom. And they would make announcements, you know. I remember there was a time when me and my sister, like during this period, we started to engage in a lot of prayer, like throughout the day, like we were engaging in a lot of spiritual warfare, just destroying Satan's kingdom. And then God showed us that the witches, you know, and the Satanists, they had made an announcement in the, in the demonic kingdom. You know, they, they were, there was like this lady and she was making an announcement to all the agents of Satan in their kingdom and saying, look, we have this threat that has, that has risen up against us. We need to unite. We need to unite and come and fight against them. So they have like radio stations, they have like TV stations, and they have spiritual radios, they have like spiritual cell phones, they have all these things. And they, they, uh, when, they, when they collect information about people, then they announce them like to everybody else, so that wherever that person goes, the agents of Satan already know all about them. That is how they operate. And that is why sometimes people would get surprised. Like they just move to a new area. Like physically people don't even know about them. But in the spirit, people know you. Like people know who you are. If you have a spiritual identity, they already know. You know, like if you're a strong Christian, you, you know, like you are a threat to Satan. They already know. And you go to a new place like where people don't even know anything about you, but in the spirit, those people who are working for Satan's kingdom, they already know you, and they already start to try to attack you and to fight you in this way and that way. You know, like they make all their, all their announcements on the radio stations, on the TV stations. They communicate on their, on the, on their spiritual computers. And all these things are real. Like, to people who are not spiritually minded, they may seem strange, but it doesn't stop them from being real. And even if w people may, may want to just want to get comfortable and say, oh, no, this is a lie, you know, this is not real, there's no way this can be, it doesn't stop it from existing. And it doesn't stop those demons from getting information about you and distributing it to all the agents all over the world. Because that is what God showed me, that the agents of Satan, they know God's children. They know who is a true child of God and who is not. They already know. Even people who are like hypocrites, Christians who are hypocrites, where they pretend to be a Christian, but in, in the secret, they are living in sin, you know, like they go in church, they pretend to be children of God. Then they go back home, they watch pornography. Then they go back home, they engage in fornication. Then they go back home, they engage in different types of sin. The agents of Satan already know that. And all that they, you know, like because the spirits are watching you. And especially when you're living in sin, like you open all these doors where they are able to freely have access to you. But when you're covered in the blood of Jesus, like you are protected. You know, when you are always praying, when you are always praying, you know, that's, that is why when you're praying, 
You need to come against all these demonic spirits that they put up and all these demonic uh, weapons that they used to, to have access to people's lives. There was a time when the Lord had shown me that the agents of, of Satan, they had come to my house and they had put up, you know, small things, you know, uh, to, to like when I saw them. When the Lord showed them to me in a vision, they just looked like small green guavas, like a guava fruit, you know, like, but real uh, small, maybe like this size, and they were green. Then they put them like all around my house, you know, like just near the roof, but outside. But God showed me that they, it was, they were creating like a network to be able to transmit information like from my house to satan's kingdom because satan wants to know exactly what is happening in your home satan wants to know what is happening to your children satan wants to know what is happening to your job satan wants to know what is happening to your finances so that he can make everything worse and so that if things are going well he may know exactly where to attack and when he attacks again he uses monitoring spirits to watch and see what is your reaction because he wants to see what is the weapon that truly, truly gets to you. So that is why they sent all these demon monitoring spirits. There was a time when we were on fasting with a, a friend of mine, Anna, you know, and she was praying. And when she was praying, the Lord showed her a vision the Lord showed her a vision that Satan had put up like a telephone. He had put up a telephone just there where she was in, her, in the room. He wanted to be listening in to everything that she's talking about, to everything that she's praying. And then when she began to call upon the name of Jesus and to rebuke that demonic telephone, then it fell down and broke to pieces. So... We need to come against demonic monitoring spirits when we are praying because they are real. And we need to close the doors that Satan uses to monitor our lives. We need to destroy those demonic doors in the name of Jesus because there is power in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that at the mention of the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says every knee, every knee shall bow, every knee. You know, I have described how Satan's kingdom operates with regards to monitoring spirits, but do not feel intimidated. I'm telling you this so that you may rise up and be able to know how to take up your spiritual authority. Greater is he who is in you than the one who is in the world. So you are having this knowledge, not for you to feel intimidated and scared, like it's not going to help whether I tell you what I have told you. Oh, I do not tell you. Those things are still happening and they are still in operation. So the Lord wants you to know so that you don't fall in a spiritual slumber so that you may wake up and realize that you are in a battle. So you use your spiritual weapons and the way that you use your spiritual weapons is you need to speak it. You need to, dis to destroy, you know, you speak it and say, you de and say, I destroy the demonic monitoring spirits that Satan is using to have access to me. There are so many weapons that Satan uses that they use in the demonic kingdom. The Lord had shown me a vision of somebody whom I know, you know, he was like a, a leader here in my town, but not anymore. But during the time when the Lord had shown this man to me, this is somebody whom I had met physically, but God had shown me that this in the spirit, like this man already knew who, who I was. Like, because, you know, that is why, okay, let me, I'll get back to that. This man already knew who I was. And that he knew that God had shown me that he is involved in demonic cults like satanism and he was a a leader uh, like here like in the past but god showed me a vision where i saw this man in his office and then he had on his table he had a cell phone he had a cell phone and that is when god showed me that this cell phone, it wasn't an ordinary cell phone, but the Lord showed me that the, the phone that this man had, it was actually for spiritual purposes. And it was able to zoom in and record 
anyone who would talk about him. And so because I was telling my family like about what God had shown me about this man, that God had shown me that this man is in the occult, and this man was zooming in on our conversation and listening in, and he knew exactly what God had shown me about him. So he had a phone as a monitoring weapon. And God showed me these people know, you know, the kingdom of Satan, they know who God's children truly are. They are that is, they, they get all the information. And when, you're, when your spiritual life starts to weaken, then they, they collect that information and they quickly transmit it. Like they, the way that they share information in the spirit, it's a, extremely quick, I can tell you. Like in, in just a second or a split second, it's transmitted all over the world. This is what is happening to so and so. So that they may be able to know how to reinforce and to really maximize the attack. So we shouldn't play around. This is a real war that we are in. And you need to get a spiritual identity. Because when you're just a weak Christian, like all the time, no, I can't pray. No, I, uh, this happened to me. And all you do is just cry about it. They know it. And they'll keep on attacking you so that you just stay in that position. So that you're unable to pray. And you're always a victim. That is why people find that certain attacks, they persist. Because when they attack you, then they see how you react. But when they see that even when you're attacked, you rise up and fight, then they'll know like, oh, this is not working. But when they attack you and then you're like, oh, Lord, why would you let this happen to me? No, I don't even want to pray anymore. No, I don't want to be a Christian anymore. Then they know like, oh, they know like if you want to get this person, just attack them in this way. Maybe you get down when Satan attacks you by attacking your child. Maybe you get down when Satan attacks you like, oh, why are you not married yet? And then you're like, oh, Lord, why am I not married yet? And I have been praying and I have been fasting. And Satan knows like, oh, whenever they see your spiritual life like trying to become strong, then they send demons to come and say, why are you not yet married? Why isn't God answering you? And then they know like, oh, this is the way to get you. But you need to realize that when we persist in prayer, we have authority. The authority is in the name of Jesus. That is the name of authority. And it has already been decreed that when the name of Jesus is mentioned, every knee has to bow. It is a command. It's not an option. Every knee has to bow and every power has to bow. Every authority has to bow. That is the decree the Lord God has said. And we need to use that name. The Lord said, what you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and what you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. I'm going to deal with that like in a, in, a, in, a, in a video again, like more detailed about binding and loosing. But rise up and destroy those monitoring spirits. Don't be a victim. They will monitor you and they'll be able to see like, oh, this is the weapon that always lets us win. So anytime you see this person trying to make any efforts for God, remind them this. Anytime you see this person trying to make any efforts for God, attack them in this way and they're going to quit. They're going to stop. They're going to be discouraged. And you're going to see the same attack persisting over and over and over. And yet the authority has been given. It has been given. When we open the door here on the earth, God opens the door here, there in heaven. Like I had told you like about this vision where God had, where God had given me a key to a door and this key to the door had like this door had two keys i had to have one key and god remained with one key and the way that the door would open is if i insert my key and open it then god would also insert his key and open it that is how it works we need to do our part we shouldn't be lazy you know we need to be determined and fight until we win because we are in a battle so god bless you brothers and sisters i'm going to 
uh, go in more detail in another video when I come back with spiritual warfare. So this is the time that we need to rise up and fight, especially during this time when the works of darkness are at their peak. God bless you all and thank you so much.